Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on from a Virgo. The Eight of Pentacles, working very hard. What's the advice for Virgo? The Knight of Pentacles, very nice. All right, and the outcome is the Eight of Cups. Okay, so um, some of you are just really going to focus on yourself, put all energy, effort, time into yourself because um, there's some, maybe some air sign that kind of devastated you here. Um, they devastated you with maybe... Uh, their actions, what they did, or their reaction to something. Um, you didn't know that they would do this. Whatever they, whatever it is they did, you didn't know they would do this thing. Um, they kind of blindsided you. Maybe the, you felt backstabbed or betrayed. You just didn't feel like this was going to happen. Um, you knew that it was going to take some time for you to get what you wanted from this connection, but you just didn't know that you would be blindsided with this type of um, this type of behavior is what I'm hearing. Some relationship was volatile too. Like it was in and out, hot and cold, up and down. Um, you just didn't know what you were getting from day to day. There is an inability to cope with the fact that this is over, but there's also someone feeling like I'm so happy that this is over. Now I can go on my own personal journey. Okay. Um, I don't know where I'm going to land. I might even be wondering for a while, but at the same time, I'll be, um, a lot more happy or, uh, a lot less sad here, uh, with the eight of cups, or I just won't be in some unfulfilling relationship, some unfulfilling cycle because the eight talks about cycles or something being cyclical, something going in a circle with the eight of pentacles too. It feels like maybe you gave a person place thing. I don't know. You gave a situation too many chances over and over again is what you did um you listen to the lies you listen to the deceptiveness um over and over again you you allow for this person to deceive you um the eight of cups talks about do not be willingly deceived here also um the eight of cups talks about maybe even like finishing up something and then moving on it's like maybe you'll wait for um, a child to grow up or you'll wait to get the divorce or you'll wait for something. It's like you're, you're in a waiting period and then you want to move on. Um, you feel like the grass is greener on the other side uh, the grass is greener where you water it. You're waiting for that knee jerk opportunity. That's going to allow you to actually just really cut ties or sever ties with whatever it is you are holding on to or what's holding on to you. It looks like you're seeking more of a committed relationship with the Knight of Pentacles here. You didn't get the devotion. You didn't get the love. Maybe you, you felt like you were coming off a bit, a little, bun, you know, boring, maybe even mundane. You know, things kind of got in a routine and this person didn't like the routine. This person also could have been, sometimes the Knight of Pentacles could talk about somebody being in and out of your life. Like they'll stay for a long time. And then once they leave, they leave for a long time too. So it's like this person, um, you know, they, uh, they take, you guys take really long breaks, especially with the eight of pentacles here. It seems like the relationship has just been cyclical. It goes in cycles where it's really dynamic. You guys are really together and it's, you know, it's really on fire. I'm hearing like, maybe like even this is like something where somebody could be sneaking around too. Um, and it, like this person will um, hang out with you a lot, be with you a lot, and then it goes to you. They can't be found, or they don't want to be found, or they don't want to hang out, or you know it feels like you're you're pulling teeth to even be around this person, or or try to. With the Eight of Pentacles, it says work on yourself, uh, put energy, effort, time into you. You know, with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, it says that, you know, this relationship isn't as stable. Also, it says that some of you just aren't even really concerned with love right now because you're concerned with maybe a business venture. The Eight of Pentacles is the um, the hard worker card. Being prudent with your money, being diligent, 
um, being consistent, showing up, doing something over and over again, whether that's going to work, home, school, work, home, school. It's like you're doing something over and over again. You're trying to get to a place to where you don't have to, you know, be on autopilot like this um, in the eight of pentacles, but you understand that you need to do it now um, just so you can see something come to um, successful fruition. It says that you could receive profits in a business venture maybe that you um, start or that you uh, embark on. Um, this looks good. Um, it looks good. It looks like you're waiting for an opportunity here. Um, you're in between. You're in between worlds here. Um, but it looks like you want to be somewhere else. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also find me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask a question or you can just come for the collective reading. If you took something from the reading, let me know how it resonated for you in the comment section. Or you could donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.